Good evening and welcome back once again. So this is it, the big match, Copa del Rey quarterfinal at home to Real Madrid. Let's get stuck into the team lineups. And this is what we're going in with. Not too many changes from our standard lineup. We are bringing in Arcas and Weiss because they're flashing, which means they're improving. And I know Arcas is on a, a good run of form in terms of he will improve quickly, potentially for the next few matches. Brought him in for Herrera. So that's a big decision. And uh, Hitch is dropping to the bench. Other than that, we're going to keep the same lineup pretty much as normal. Schubert is on a down. He obviously needs resting. Just to let you know that I have actually promoted one of our youth team players, a goalkeeper. He hasn't actually joined up yet, but he will after this match. We just need some cover for now. We will probably look to buy a second choice keeper eventually, like a, a decent one. But at the moment, we just need someone that in maybe in some of the smaller games that we can rest. Really big match. Just looking at their lineup, I mean, it's massive. You know, the likes of Benzema, 92 rated. Cruz is 88. Modris, 92. Carvajal, 87. Just staggering the quality they've got in their squad. And this is it. I'm still not sure why the Copa del Rey have neutral grounds. This is not a home ground. I don't think it's like that in real life. I'm pretty sure if you're at home, you play at your home stadium, apart from obviously the final. But it is what it is. And here we go. This is going to be tricky, to say the least. Now we've been in great form. I mean, in the last month, we didn't let in a single goal in January. But that was against very different opposition. Um, and I've got a pretty much full strength lineup today, which is good. That's, I suppose, oh, straight away we're losing it. See the quality of Modric already. Nearly got caught out there. Wow, already I can, uh, I can feel the difference. If I didn't know already. Get a little bit of luck though. And he's Madrid. Comfortable catch from Courtois. Even that itself, I mean, it was a, it would have been a very easy save, but some of the uh, keepers lower down, you know, they don't catch them. God, this is... Uh, it's a corner. They are quick. Not just in terms of the, their running speed, their acceleration, but... Passing their decisions, it's uh, there's no one really here with Xerxy. Nicely weighted for Perez, though. Right, we just need to get a foothold in the game, I think. We you know, don't have to rush. That's well covered. Good tackle there. It's a poor pass though. That's a foul. You straight away. Oh, not a yellow. The first foul of the game and he gets yellow. Well, that was not a bad challenge. That is terrible refereeing. Now, Rice is going to be... Well, we're going to have to be careful to even make any tackles with him. Good block there. I think it was Teixeira with the uh, the block. Sent here with the turn. I think he blocked it, didn't he? Well, maybe not. I thought I heard it. Maybe imagining things. Fabio Vieira just halted his runner just as I was playing the pass. Nicely played to Vieira. Oh, that was poor. Still got a chance though. Sorry if I go a little bit silent here. Perez! Oh, 
should have scored there. It just hit Courtois, really. He didn't know too much about it. Oh, and that's a poor pass from Vieira. He normally does so well. Nice tackle. Oh, no. That was a good tackle from Teixeira there. I was going to say, not another bloody yellow card. And I'm pretty sure we haven't had a game in the whole of the season where we've had the lesser of the possession. I think this might be one of those games. Uh, this time yet, obviously, but... Mudrik now, though. Lovely pass. Perez! And it's in! Wow. We've been under the cosh the whole off. We did start putting a, together a few passes up front but wonderful pass from Mudrick's left foot nice touch and just calmly side foot into the net there Whew. we've done very well not to let in a goal already but to actually score I'm surprised to say the least wonderful finish from Perez but that pass from Mudrick was the uh, the killer need to just be steady of course they're going to go even more attacking now so we might be able to hit them on the counter attack even more that'll be the plan just don't make any silly mistakes that's nice just keeping a hold of the ball Oof. That was a nice cross. Zixi just hadn't made the uh, the run. Nice tackle from Kotsunik. Oh, come on. This referee is atrocious. That was genuinely a good tackle there. Could be in trouble here. Oh my word, how's he missed that? I, I just thought it was in. Oh my word. That's an open goal. I did say, I think in one of the other videos, when I knew I was going to play Real Madrid in the Cup, that you need a bit of luck when you play against one of the top teams, and... We've just got a little bit there, or massive bit of luck, actually. Um, now we've got to make the most of it. Make a count. His tech share it. Nice ball into Xerxy. Easily blocked, though. Good tackle for Marcastle. I've said that a few times before, and it was a foul. Oh, terrible pass. Just get to half time. Nice footwork from Fiera there. Lovely footwork. Lovely ball from Mudrik. Oh, it's a corner. Xerxes nearly got in ahead of Courtois there. They sort of got to it at the same time. Let's have a quick look if we can see it. Nice ball and it was a little bit too near Courtois. He almost took it out of his hands. I mean, I don't know why you're cheering so much. Can we sneak a goal just before half time? And there it is. Ooh, very tricky first 10 or 15 minutes. I really thought we we're going to let in potentially a couple of goals. We've then hit them on the counter. Carlos Perez scoring a really, really good goal. Wonderful pass from Mudrik. Put that miss from Benzema after what was about 30, 35 minute mark. An absolute sitter. And somehow we've got 64% possession. I think if you looked at the first 10 or 15 minutes, we just couldn't keep the ball. But that goal's changed things around and now we can sit back a little bit. I mean, we love to attack. 
and we will keep doing so. We can hope that uh, Real Madrid push more people up and we can hit them on the counter. And you know, for all their attacking threats, the possession they had in the final third, Schubert didn't actually have to make a save. Um, like I say, Benzema missed the sitter. Ah, oh, Carlos Perez halted his run just at the worst time there. Nice header from McDowell. And I'm not sure what that was from Xerxes. I'm not sure what that's from Cosney. <laughs> I was... I don't know what happened there. That was just me. Going for the long throw. Getting a little bit desperate there. Oof. That was well struck. And again, I thought it deflected. Obviously not. Ah, I was trying to play to Arcas, not to uh, to Madrid. Could be in trouble here. Nice uh, interception there. But that's a poor clearance. Nice tackle there. Oh, Carlos Perez has hit his heel. Oh, what a save from Schubert. And he's offside. Oh, what a save that was from Schubert. That reminds me of his first ever match where he pulled out a worldie. Maybe it wasn't quite as good as that one in his first match, but at the bringing on Vinicius Junior now for Mendy. They're going for it. We're going to make some subs of our own. So we are going to take off Rice because he's on that yellow, so we're in her edge. We're going to switch Arcas a little bit further forward and we've brought on Herrera for Vieira and we're going to take Carlos Perez off for Bajer. Still very tight at the moment at 1-0. Bajer's always been a very, very good sub. He, I mean, he starts games well too, but first came in at prominence when he had quite a few matches in a row as a sub and set up and scored quite a few Nice little ball there. Oh, not so much. Like I say, I was worried about Rice after he got that very early yellow card. <sighs> nice interception there. And there's loads of space out wide for Mudrik. That's a bad ball from Teixeira there. I was trying to play it into Mudrik, but it was just absolutely fluffed it. Oh, Xerxes here. And now Mudrik. Xerxes, Mudrik again. Oh, it's in. The 1-2. Hit them on the counter. They were obviously pushing a lot of players forward. Can't believe we're actually 2-0 up against Real Madrid. Nice little pass. Beautifully weighted back. And in off the inside of the post. Again, on another day, that could have hit the post and bounced out. We've played well. You know, we've got away with a couple of things. Like I say, that setter from Benzema that he missed. Schubert pulling off a wonder save. That could have levelled it. And we've got a little bit of the rub of the green sometimes. Whew. I must admit, I wasn't sure what to expect going into this, how difficult it would be. And those first five or ten minutes, I thought, there's no way we're, we're going to win this. 
the speed and the pace that their players play at. But do you know what? Once we got used to it. Arcas. Oh, just wide. He's missed a few lately. He's missed a few chances. That was the first in this match, but there was a few matches ago where he missed two in one game. And then we ended up getting away with it by scoring a last minute goal. He missed one in, I think it was the last match. It might be the one before that. Just over 15 minutes left now. It's 2-0, but, you know, can't count anything out at the moment. Letting one goal, it could be chaos. So, want to keep this clean sheet. Stop it from even getting to that point. Nicely held up from Xerxes for Mudrik. Xerxes on his three. I was laughing before he even shot because, oh man. 3-0 against Real Madrid. This is unbelievable. Lovely ball around the corner to Xerxes. And he slots it away. Wonderful finish, actually. I don't know why I started laughing before he even shot, but... And Alcas getting the assist. Lovely finish. Look at that. Sort of toe-poked it around. And what I'm looking forward to is, assuming we get promoted, which we should, we're well clear in, in Division 1, is, you know, the step up in quality that's going to be in Division 1 that we have to play. And yes, we've, we're beating Real Madrid 3-0 now, but, I mean, it has not been an easy match. Um, and of course, there's going to be some opposition that's only a little bit better than the Division 2 quality. You know, some of the lesser, lesser teams... But this is going to be, you know, a little bit more of what we should be expecting in the next season. Nice tackle from Herrera there. The share is absolutely out on his feet. He's putting a really good performance. Just keeping the ball now. Now Arcas. Bje. Oh, good save from Courtois. And there it is. Full time. Unbelievable result. First 20 minutes was looking a bit dodgy, but boy, did we pull through in the end. 61% possession. And like I said, I think it was after about that 20 minute mark, I said there's no way. Well, it's probably going to be the first game of the season that we've been on the, the lesser end of the possession. But after we scored that goal, Real Madrid, they still had some chances. We rode our luck. I think we just gained that confidence and, and they were then battling to come from behind. Man of the match, Cersei, I totally agree with that. Some absolutely brilliant performances. Teixeira only got a five. You know, of all the players to get the poor rating, I wouldn't say Teixeira was one of them. Schubert pulled off an amazing save. Rice was unlucky to get the yellow, so he was a little bit tentative after that. Argas played well. I agree Vieira was maybe a little bit more absent in this game. The front three of Mudrik, Perez and Xerxes absolutely on fire. Kept a clean sheet. What more can I say? We're through to the semi-finals. And not a bad semi-final draw. You know, if you're in the semi-finals, you're going to be playing a big team, but we're playing Villarreal. The other semi-final is going to be Barcelona versus Sevilla. So some really big matches. Of all, you know, the other three teams I could have faced, it's not bad. And the new goalkeeper from the youth squad has joined up. As you can see, 17-year-old. He's pretty tall from what I can remember, which is good. Yeah, 189 centimetres. 17 years old. Obviously, his stats are not great at all. He's a 58 overall rated, but goalkeepers tend to be lower overall anyway. He has got the penalty saver player skill, which is good. But again, he's just going to play the odd match. Hopefully, he will get better in time. Whether we will go out and sign another goalkeeper potentially in the summer, a really good second choice, I'm not sure. We've really brought him in just to have the odd match. We'll give Schubert a rest. And if, God forbid, anything happens, like he got sent off or injured or anything like that, we've got someone at least that we can put in there. What a match. What a performance. Like I said during this game, I wasn't 100% sure what to expect apart from it was going to be tough. First 20 minutes was a lot tougher than maybe what I thought. 
but we hung in there, rode our luck a little bit at times, and we got the deserved win and through to the semi-finals. Next match is away to Real Oviedo, continuing in the league. We've now got an 18-point league, pretty much certain to get promoted to Division 1. Really looking forward to that, but I've got a long way to go, a lot of matches to play. I want to keep up this good run, you know, I don't want to drop points if possible. Can we potentially get to a cup final? We'll have to wait and see. But thank you very much for joining. Leave a like and comment if you can and think about subscribing to the channel if you want to keep up to date. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.